I'm alone for a reason. I'm focusing on myself, but the answer is I'm single. Okay. <laughs> that is the most bullshit answer I've ever seen. The pain in her eyes. You can tell she's just been crushed by so many fuckboys. My name is Jade Dharma Wangza. Jade Dharma Wangza. Jade Dharma Wangza. <sighs> Today is October 25th, 2019. It's 1 50 p.m. Uh, December 4th, 2020. Today is December 20th, 2021. 48,500. I currently have 51,000 Instagram followers. Currently, I have 55,600 Instagram followers. I don't know why, I don't really want to change anything about myself. Oh, I wish I had longer lashes. <laughs> so can I say that? I really do like myself though, I, I really do. I, I don't like the situation I'm in, but I think I like myself. Um, I think Jade's pretty cool. I'd like to change my bad relationship with food. I wish I could sometimes turn off my brain that's criticizing me all the time. I wish I wasn't so obsessed about money and metrics that I could find other values in life. Like I'm really trying to not care about those things, but at the end of the day, I cling on to Jade's follower count or if Jade went to VidCon or if Jade made money. Like I think I wish I was more than that. And I know I am, but I, would just, I wish I could believe it, you know? <laughs> I am very single, ready to mingle. Just kidding, no, I'm, I'm alone for a reason. I'm focusing on myself, but the answer is I'm single, okay. <laughs> That is the most bullshit answer I've ever seen. That, the pain in her eyes. You can tell she's just been crushed by so many fuckboys, which if you guys want to see my dating story time video, link is over here. But um, no, I'm, I'm not single. I'm in a relationship. <laughs> Ideal weekend would be like 50% of the day would be filming videos or, or like a skit or like a movie or I love, I love art. And then the other part of the day I would, I would like to spend it with my friends. I think ideal weekend would be going on a spontaneous trip and like spending the night with a few friends. I think that'd be cool. I used to love to work a lot, like a lot, a lot, where I just want to be around my work. Now my ideal weekend, I feel like it's just having no plans, waking up and knowing that the entire day is up to you. Like you can do anything. So hiking, surfing, hanging out with a friend, just having no plans. An ideal weekend is surfing with someone I love, maybe going hiking. I love going outdoors. I prefer to do my exercise outside. So just being in nature. It's so annoying when people classify me as the same circle of like course sellers or fucking like- That girl was very insecure. Which I still do, which I can't actually be mad about because it gives me a lot of opportunities. It gives them all super passionate about art, technology. She's finding herself. She's definitely finding herself right there. I think people misunderstand that I need a lot of help and that I feel insecure because I'm reaching out to people but no one sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like reaches out to me. So I feel like it's the needing of validation and people don't maybe don't ex uh, you know, assume that because maybe I appear more confident. I really felt like I was alone. Like I moved to San Luis Obispo, had no friends. I didn't really ask for much help. I think if there's one thing people misunderstand me about is I'm very confident, but it doesn't mean I'm super secure with myself. I have no stage fright. That's the weird thing. I do these things that are courageous, but I doubt myself a lot. Like I'm like, oh, was that actually enough? Like maybe I shouldn't have said that. And I really replay those conversations over and over. So it'd be that I'm working on my self-doubt. So this year I wrote down my 2019 goals. I don't really accomplish much, but I wanted to go to Dubai. Ah! Australia. I went to Dubai this year, like a week ago. So many things. I didn't even do it this year, which I'm actually okay with because I brought me other places, but yeah, Dubai would be sick. I want to surf in Bali. I want to surf in Portugal. I want to surf. I, I, I went to Portugal two months ago I to surf. To just travel and surf obviously with social distancing uh, precautions. Okay, my bucket list is to surf in Fiji, surf in Costa Rica. I would love to snorkel. I really want to write a book. When I'm myself, I just think about money recently, and then like funding this project, and it eats up a lot of money. So Bitch, like, just so you know, your next few we'll projects- times, But then I make it all back, but then I like go back. Your next few projects will eat more money up. It's how I hate myself, how I think I'm fat, how I think I'm poor, how I think I'm not good enough. That's what I think about myself, genuinely. Hmm. <laughs> so, fun fact, I didn't go to therapy. 
this past two videos. So I am now actually in a very good spot. Um, I, when I'm alone, I actually think about like what I want to work on this week. Like for example, last week I had to work on my inner thoughts and the way I talk to myself because I, I have a lot of like strategies and systems that my therapist and I put in place to help me like deal with them. Yeah, I'm happy. I don't think I'm generally optimistic, but I think I'm very content and like thankful. Um, so I guess that makes me happy. I think right now I found happiness in not like having everything I wanted, but being acceptant of my situation and embracing it. As cheesy as it sounds like, I don't think I would change anything else. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I think I'm happy, very happy. I like binge eat. Oh my God, it's so bad. Like you, anyone who has been to any social event has seen me have this issue. I like start eating a lot of food. I don't have like an eating disorder. I just have a weird issue with social situations and food. Maybe it's like my anxiety when I'm like out and about. I hate the fact that at 5 p.m. after I work, I start to stress eat. Stress eating needs to stop. I want to stop scrolling on social media. I want to get rid of TikTok. I want to still post and interact, but I want to get rid of the mindlessly scrolling. I used to watch like good videos that made me feel good. Now I watch social media content on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok that make me feel bad. Like that made me feel more drained. Like content is healthy. It's just what type of content you consume. So really modifying my consumption. Is it bad? I feel like I haven't done anything. I don't know. I guess oh. the biggest thing I've done this year would be hosting an event in, L in LA. That's pretty big to me, but I don't feel really accomplished to be honest. I don't think I've done anything before. Wow, that's crazy. The biggest thing ever, which I can't believe I'm playing it, is this fall I worked on directing influencer management and creative for uh, TikTok House, and it's called The House of Us. It was for the election this year, and I worked with some amazing names and brands and people that I have never thought I would work with. In addition, I launched my first course ever with a company that I like love. So it's been a really crazy year professionally. I'm, I'm very thankful and I, it blows my mind when I think about it. Damn, where do I start? Well, first of all, I landed a sponsorship with Red Bull, I worked with them multiple times this year, had a campaign with HP, Netflix, I'm now working on a project with Warner Brothers, I spoke at VidCon this year, I launched a crypto project, oh yeah, I went to a fucking Ethereum conference in Paris, did a lot of press and media for them, I got accepted to South by Southwest for next year, speaking there for my project NFT, and we're raising $400,000, so very good year. <laughs> a year from now, how, what am I supposed to know? Okay, one year from now, Jane. I hope that you figure out this money thing. I really hope that you realize that your ideas, like you're super, super valuable. Um, I know some days you don't feel like it. And I also hope that you just stop chasing things and start saying no more often. Jane, I know you have an issue with fucking saying yes to everything because you want to get, you don't want to, I remember this year, I couldn't say no to anything. Like it was so bad. Like I, I keep in mind, I'm living in my parents' house in Vancouver, Washington at the time, right? And like, I got invited to like a party in LA. And I was literally, I had an issue saying no. I would fly out to LA just to go to that party. Cause I couldn't say no. And also I kept going on dates with random dumb guys. Okay. Just understand that like you might not know everything and that's okay my entire life i was told i'm an entrepreneur i'm great like youtube gave me a lot of validation and i think i would tell my my old self too like you don't have to be those things you can do whatever you want whether it's music surfing like don't def don't let the world define you and like keep reinventing yourself every day because you're not what people tell you you are i would say that's insane because this is a year that i literally rebranded myself i got into crypto what the fuck i'm not a tech bro but i like changed myself like i'd make so many different content and videos now that i used to be the advice i'd give myself a year from now would be i don't know jade what's up don't let your anxiety get in your in your way i know you might feel anxious about your relationship you might feel like people are gonna hurt you there's a difference between your and you know intuition and anxiety it's really hard to tell the difference but my biggest advice is to trust the people around you they're not going to hurt you and trust yourself that you can make those decisions and judgment and your judgment is good the biggest thing i've learned in my life so far is there's only things you can control there's things you can't control
And you're going to be fucking miserable if you focus on the things you can't control. People's opinions, you know, how the market responds. You can only do so much. That making money is so unimportant if the world's literally on fire. Like, what's the point of succeeding in life when there's not people around you that you care about that are thriving, doing well? There's nothing wrong with slowing down in terms of taking a break for your mental health, Jade. Like, if you need time or if you you know, want to take a different career path, whether it's from marketing to like, I don't know, social issues. Like you don't have to always grow because growth does not equivalent to numbers. There's so many other measurements of growth. So like do whatever the fuck you want. Okay, honestly, the biggest thing I learned has a link to about business or work. It's, well, so I recently went through a breakup, I guess, with a client of mine. That sounds really strange. Basically, we don't work together anymore. You can let go something and be okay. Money does not come before your mental health and always make that a thing. And you can replace this with anything. Like maybe a loving relationship that's not good for you is not worth risking your mental health, right? Like if something's not right for you, you gotta... I've really cleansed my social circle. I don't really have a lot of friends, which I kind of get sad about, but the people that are in my life are extremely positive. The clients I work with are only positive. Like I don't work with assholes. And because of that, I'm a lot happier. Ah, uh, my biggest fear is going broke. But not even that, because I know like I never grew up with much. So I guess my biggest fear is like going broke and not having a family. Like my mom and dad, them going sick, that's scaring. But like even then I know that like I have a really good friend circle. So I just I think my current biggest fear is just being alone. Is I think that's just it. Like I don't like sitting with my thoughts at all. And being alone forever, which obviously is not real, is like so scary to me. For the longest time, my biggest fear was losing status. Like I built up this name for myself in and professionally. I always think one day my friends, especially in this like entrepreneur community, that they're gonna one day gonna call me out. And one day they're gonna be like, Jane is a fraud, I hate her. That's like also another big fear, like my friends turning their backs on me and being like, yeah, she wasn't that good anyways. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Losing momentum. I think I worked a lot, like a lot this year. I think like I'm worried that like I'm getting a lot of momentum, especially this year. What if next year is not the same and I lose all of it, like my money, I lose all my confidence, I lose all my progression. And I realize how irrational it is because Growth can look so many ways. Like it's not just linear, right? Like you might go up and down, but overall maybe mentally you've grown. So I, I struggle with that, but I think it's losing momentum of my professional career and losing my money. <laughs> Jay, in one year, one fucking year, what's that? 2020 October shit. Be a nice person and say thank you more. Say I love you to your parents. I know you're kind of weird with your dad. I'm so weird with my dad. <laughs> daddy issues. Help others even if they don't agree with it. I hope that you're, if you're successful, that you're humble. And if you're not successful, Jane, and you're kind of like a shithole. I hope I'm successful and humble. What do you think? Do you think so? I think so. Yeah. 2022 Jade. Holy shit. Um. Can I ask you a question, I guess? It's not really, I have something to say. I guess my question is, are you still in a relationship? <laughs> I guess if I could say anything to you, I hope you got really good at surfing and I hope you spend more time with friends that you really enjoy and you worry less about what people think and you really enjoy your project NFT. I hope you're still enjoying it. I think that's my main thing. It's like, I know you're gonna be fine successfully, but are you enjoying yourself? I think I had a s such an amazing year this year. Like I could not literally be more blessed to, you know, travel the world, work on amazing projects, have a loving friendship and relationships. Um, I just wish to continue that. And if things, if shit hits the fan, I just hope you're able to, you know, persevere and everything will be okay.